Hello everyone, it's Godwin and welcome to another lesson from Rainbow Fingers Guitar Academy. This time around, we're looking at musical notes. Previous class, we talked about music and we have learned the definition of music. We said music is, you know, combination of sounds that pleases the ear. We talked about so many definitions. But the thing is, the other that all definitions we talked about had sound, sound, sound. So it's more like saying without sound, there's no music. Now, these sounds in music are represented in musical notes. These musical notes are named according to various languages and countries. So it means Chinese, they have their own way of writing their musical notes. You know, the Englishman has his own way, the Italian, the German, and so on and so forth. But today, we'll be looking at the English method of naming the musical notes. So straight to the point. Musical notes are made up of the first seven letters of our alphabet, which is um, your A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And when you get to G, you come back to A. So it means there's not like H, I, J in music. So it's just between A to G. And when you get to G, it comes back to A. So that A becomes a double frequency from the first A. So there are certain symbols you need to know. The first symbol on the screen, your sharp symbol. Now your sharp basically means take a step forward or raise the notes a step forward now let me you know show you what that means on the guitar if i hold this note now if someone asks me to sharpen this note it means i should go one step forward i've sharpened the notes sharpen this note again so you get the concept of sharp it's just basically taking a step what forward now the next one is flat that's the next symbol you should know if this symbol is on the screen now flat is the opposite of sharp it means what take it what a step what a backward so this is no this is no let's say for example the notes on your fifth fret of your sixth string take it a step backward you flatten the note flatten it is that clear so we have the sharp and the flat sharp means take a step forward flat means take a step backward so chromatically we have the notes on the screen So yeah, so these are all the notes in music. So first of all, we know we start from A. So your A, let's take for example your A on the fifth fret. Now after A, you take a step forward, it becomes what? A sharp. If I take A sharp a step back forward, it becomes what? B. If I take B a step forward, it becomes what? C. C sharp. D. D sharp. E. F. F sharp, G, G sharp, and when we get back to the G sharp, we come back to what? A. So you observe that there's always sharp in between most of this note, but between B and C, which is this, the next note became what? C. So there's not like, for now, we just see that after B is what? C. And for E, after E is what? F. So those are the two notes that follow each other naturally. So B, C then E to your F. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and to your A. If you observe from the screen, your B and C are always together, your E and F are always together. Now the second part I want to explain is the flats. Now if I have this as my A, and I move a step forward to make this as my A sharp, and this is my B, if I move a step backward, it becomes what my B flat. So you know that A sharp and B flat, they fall on the same pitch. So uh, most times you see them as the same. Your A sharp still also means your B flat. The same thing applies with C sharp and D flat. So this is my C, this is my C sharp, this is my D, this is my D flat. So you know that C sharp and D flat are the same pitch. E F F sharp and your G flat and so on and so forth. So these are the you know the notes on the screen and yeah you get to master them. The PDF files have assessments and I want you all to make to make sure you do the assessment. That way you get to learn the arrangement of all the notes in music. So to everyone watching the video out there, I hope you enjoy these lessons. If you have questions, feel free to send your questions to the forum and I'm gonna be there to answer every question 
from every individual. They say practice make perfect. So I have to say this, you have to practice. There's no shortcut to this. You have to practice and make sure when you're practicing, take them slow. Make sure you're very slow and don't rush it. If you want, you know, if you don't understand some parts, you could go back, you know, rewind and just make sure you get every piece of information from the video. So guys, if you'd love to have more of these videos in subsequent months, don't forget to make your subscription payment. Make sure to follow us on all the social media platforms, our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, you know, every platform to reach out to us. The handles are written on the screen. So guys, if you'd love to get more of these videos in subsequent months, don't forget to make your subscription payment, your subscription payment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take it again. Let me take it again. Stop laughing. Stop laughing.